Well, annual youth intake. I wasn't going to record this because I don't normally, but wow, look at what we've got coming in here. We have four players with five-star potential, a goalkeeper that's ready to step in at the age of 16, another two with four-and-a-half-star potential, and another handful at three-and-a-half-star potential. They're not calling this a golden generation. Well, yes, uh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. I, I, usually I think that's at the bottom, but I, was, I saw this and I went, wow, that's interesting. So Melvin Gurner, center back, he's ready to play today. Not, not to break into first team, but he's ready to play. Need to retrain him as a right winger instead of an attacking winger, but... His passing is going to hold him up, but that may be, maybe we can train him up or sell him for some good money down the road. There's a center back. He's only 5'8", so we need to retrain him to something else, maybe a defensive midfielder, maybe. We'll look at that. There's our young goalkeeper, and he could be our number one next season. He could be our number one next season. We've got a striker. Probably ready to come in and compete. A left winger and midfielder. Some of these guys look real quality. And then we've got a decent enough second choice keeper. Uh, his bad luck to be coming in behind a once in a generation looking keeper, I think. Wow, that is crazy. So just wanted to uh, and, and check this out. The 5-0 uh, victory for the youth candidates over our under 18 squad wow yeah anyway <laughs> wanted to show you guys that and they're only saying to sign five of them but uh i think we might oh no i'm sorry yep yeah, they're they're saying to sign a big bag full including this guy an attacking fullback Mm, that might be a stretch. I don't know if I'm going to sign him or not. But anyway, I'll take a look at it. Just wanted to show you guys what was going on. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the season finale. Well, it was a birthday to forget for me in game. Playing on my birthday, our next to last match of the season. We have really had a dip in form. Look at that shot there. Anisic just caught way out of position, chipped right over him. Found ourselves in a 1 0 hole. Stoppage time, and they're on the attack. And this did not go well either. Oh, my God. Just a little half volley right over Anachik. But that was pathetic. A brace for him. Uh, who was that? El Fossi. 2-0 defeat. That is horrible. Uh, Rainier's out for a couple of days. And uh, Gadotti got a start in that one because the uh, <laughs> Stretzlov is out for the season. And PSV will not be taking a Euro Cup place after they qualified for the Champions Cup. So that will go to an Arita VC team, i.e. somebody in our area. But it will not be us. We're too far down the table now. And if we take a look at our recent run of form after uh, last match, I believe that was Fortuna, correct? Uh, so, yeah, we played uh, PSV. Uh, Fortuna, we beat 2-0. Uh, Chris Natumba with a brace, and we secured uh, safety at that point. Uh, we beat Utrecht 2-1, Quasi and Shedahull, uh with the goals in that one. And then uh, Sparta beat us 4-2. Uh, Banachek and Quasi got the goals. Feyenoord gave us a clean sheet. 1-0, and Vitesse, a 2-1 loss. Christian Souk with the goal to equalize, and then we gave it right back up. And then the two-goal defeat to Groningen. Really been struggling. 
So we're playing Villem to uh, close out the season. Well, this is some good news. We just got the update uh, between uh, the highlights of last match and this match today that uh, Mitchell Quazy was no longer unhappy, that he no longer felt I was trying to force him out of the club dating back to the beginning of the season or last season. I don't know which. Uh, and we were able to offer him a new contract, so that was good. We've signed him uh, for three more years, so that is a done deal. We've also signed a bunch of our, you know, all of our youth intake players, large large group of them. Um, we went through the ones. I signed all of them, so that should be fine. And if we look at the competition table, uh, down at the bottom. So Telstar and Eindhoven have both been relegated. Utrecht and Breda are both on 27 points. NEC is at 29. Those three are still in danger. Uh, a win, I don't know who plays who, but those are the three clubs in danger. PSV has, uh, is lined up to win the league if they can win today. Feyenoord could win the league if they win and PSB lose or draw. Ajax can't finish any higher than third, possibly. Well, they could finish second, I suppose. And it looks like AZ is the only other club that could jump into that top four. Villem could, with a win today, possibly get into that fifth spot and steal that other European qualifying. So, We'll have to watch out for that. They definitely have something to play for. I'm going to twist the tactic up here. We are going to go with the uh, 4 3 1 2. We're going to go with Casey in goal. Let's take a look at him. I haven't looked at our keepers much since we lost. Uh, this will be his debut. Nice. That's interesting. Anachik has allowed 57 in 29, six shutouts. Casey's developed into a, oh, well, this is our new 16-year-old, right? Four stars coming into the game. So he's going to get his debut and a chance to maybe put it, put his name in the hat as a uh, number one for next year. Chassain and Nemeth, Neteb and Opdam in the middle. Rainiers, Diallo, Quazy in the mid. Vandermeulen at the number 10, Natumba. I don't know if I want Gadotti there. Let's see. Stretslav is out. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Christian Soup there. All right, so no captain, so Nemeth will take it. We'll have to give uh, Kaze, or Kays a number. He takes number 36. I'm guessing he'll get another number next year, uh, something more in line with his position. Because I expect him to be the number one or the number two next year, right? I would think so. Let's pump the fist. I know how hard you're working. Yeah, that didn't do a whole lot for him. All right, we're in the green. Not a big fan of those. Chassain knocks it clear. Oh, let's check something since we did change tactics. I haven't used this one in a while. Uh, we're going to turn that off, that off, and let's turn those off. Yep, I like that. Confirm all that. Let's give him a shout of encouragement. All right, and that immediately gets us a highlight. Just saying, right to their player. That was awesome. Here, and then you can take it right to the spot that I'm vacating. Whoa, I don't know if that went off the keeper or not. Yes, it did. Good save. First save by our debut keeper, our youngster. You know, I'm drawing a blank. What was the guy's name? Oh, that was a poor through ball. What was the guy's name, the young keeper that we had? And I don't remember if it was this save or the other one. We had that 16-year-old, and then he ended up going to uh, the Premier League. 
I don't remember. I have a bad memory on stuff like that. Oh, what are they doing? What are you doing? Let's drop the tempo back. We're doing shorter passing. Let's drop that tempo down a little bit. See if that helps us out any. Maybe clear up some of these passing mistakes. My goodness. And another save by Kays. Is it, do you think it's Kays or Kaysy? Or Kaysy? It's close to Kaiser, but no R, so maybe it's Kaysy. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out, especially if he's going to play a lot. Uh, let's encourage him again. All right, Diallo into the box. Uh, their keeper, Vanderveen, makes the save. Oh, they win the header, get the flick on. And that one goes high and wide of the mark. Sets up a goal kick for us. We've only managed one shot. Come on. Come on. Hmm. I'm kind of worried about having changed the tactic, but we've been in such bad form. I mean, it can't hurt us any, right? Oh, there it is. Oh, and it goes off the woodwork. That was a shot. That should have been in the net. A gashed lower leg. If you haven't watched the other series, uh, we just had a, uh, a big surprise twist in our journeyman save, so you might want to go check that out later on. Oh, what a save there. What a save there. I'm going to say that's Case. Let's go with Case. That's what I'm going to go with. That's what we're going with, Case. Uh, let's see. They've got... They're not dominating us in XG. Seven shots, though. What do we do here? I'm going to point the finger. Um, let's do the revenge factor. Tell you what. I'm going to give him... I'm going to bring Nick Mueller on. I don't think he's played this year. He is not. This will be a debut. I want somebody that can pass but also defend. Boucher is really bad at defending. Rainiers is playing bad. We've got a lot of yellow cards on the back line. All right, let's encourage him here. I've changed a few things up. We've tweaked the tactic a little bit. Uh, I've made uh, the wing backs. I've made them... Oh, that was not good. I've made them, uh, instead of inverted wing backs, I've made them wing backs. So that's a little different. The long ball headed out to Rainier's. He can bring it up that flank. Crossed in. Souk controls it and then loses it. Ah! Four. Our keeper's playing a 7-2 on his debut. That's good. And this could, oh, what a save there. Ticks him up to a 7.3. And we put some pressure on him here and get the ball back. We can. And then we can give it right back to him. Oh, there's some good control by Muller. Oh, that's a through ball. Chassain gets beaten. And there's a goal by Reguin. 32nd goal of the season. Wow, that's prolific. And Case gives up his first goal of his career. 
Hmm. Well, once Chassain got beaten, it was a one-on-one. -on -one. That was always a high probability it was going to go in. Oh, and there's Nemeth missing a header. Good block and a clearance. Nice job. We've had 72% passing, we're even, which is low. We're, we're dead even basically on possession. I need to demand more. And let's look for another sub here. So we've got tired guys. We've got yellow cards. Who's not playing good? A 6-3, a 6 for Rainiers. Let's bring Brower on on that side. I already made one other sub, so I can't go crazy here as much as I'd like to. All right, Diallo. Chips it in. There's a header. And, of course, look at Nimeth get beaten. Oh, Bogers just blew past him. We are just not looking good right now. I'll be interested to see what our transfer budget is because, golly, I just want to... When we get into this kind of funk, I just want to scrap the team. <laughs> There's a save. Nice job by Case. I'm watching to see if any of these guys go red. That should have been a goal. So Rovalek sends it wide of his target. Keeper would not have had a shot there at all. Oh, come on, fellas. No. I think I'm going to dial that back even more. Let's take that off now. Just, just grasping at straws here, just trying to get some kind of difference. I need to fire them up, but... Nothing I can do here yet. That goes over. Souk makes a run onto it. Rose comes off of it. There's a shot. Vanderveen makes the save. Let's fire him up. We've got 15 minutes. Was there an offsides there? I'm guessing. Let's see. Well, I'm not worried about that. It's the last match of the season. Are you crazy? We're close enough to that 80 minute mark, though. 6 3. He celebrates uh, his. <laughs> hey, what? Let's bring Souk off. I'm going to bring DeVries on. Can DeVries do something for us in the final minutes? Not if, not if his teammates can't give him service here, right? Oh, Brower misses a tackle. There's just... Nobody there when we're playing the ball forward. And that is in Reguin, Reguin with his second goal, Brace. And we are going to finish this season in an utter downward spiral. What's that, five on the bounce that we've lost? I think it's five. Quasi, that's a horrible last game. DeVries, he's in. No, oh, that was not good. Quasi sends that one wide of the mark. All right. 
Yep. Go ahead and man mark him. That's fine. If we've got to get something on this highlight. There's in. Oh my god. Okay, you know what we gotta do here. We're already attacking. Uh let's go longer passing, take off work into box. We're gonna have to counter press. I'm gonna change that too. For whatever reason, our guys are coming in and they're just getting free runs on the outside when we collapse. I think Case had the angle on that to play it all the way to the post. It goes wide. And he lets it go. We are not looking good here, man. Very, very depressing. Oh, that's wide open shot. Luckily, he's off target. I I don't know what all that was. It was a lot of blips and bloops and breaks and looks like it wanted to do a highlight and then couldn't. There's a takedown. Brower gets the foul. Quazy can't do anything with it. Back to Muller. You're going the wrong way, fellas. We don't have anything time wasting on, and yet we're playing the ball nowhere near the direction of the goal. That's disgustingly bad. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I'm going to thrash my arms. Far from pleased with that result. There's not going to be any training. I mean, we're done for the season now. All right, let's finish the day. Jettahol's coming back too little too late. Case makes his senior debut, the 16-year-old. We get $8.09 million for achieving 11th place. Let's see if that matches up, because I want to say, see, this says we should get 9.28. So give me a second, and I'm going to save game as... That way I can upload that as a, as a possible bug. PSB win the league. We finish in 11th. We were supposed to fight bravely against relegation, which we do. We finished 20 points above. Utrecht is going to be in the playoffs. NEC survives, as does uh, Breda. So good on them. Sparta stays up. And it'll be uh, PSB, Feyenoord, and Ajax, and Hirenveen. So they're going to be the ones going up uh, into Europe next year. And we still have work to do. What was the... Um, so we finished 14th last year. 27-41. We're on 46 this year, so we took some small steps, nothing major, but boy, boy, we, we just ended up in a tizzy of a run. Five in a row, seven out of our last nine. 20 goals for Natumba. He was a good signing. 13 for Stretoslav. Eight for Quazy. Five for Shedahull. Sook had five and eight. DeVries, 4 and 8. 17 counting as relief, relief appearances. I think we get rid of uh, possibly one, if not both of those guys, and then see if we can upgrade at Striker next year. Stretoslav will be back. So, you know, that gives us another good partnership. Oh, boy. And what do we have in the way of expiring contracts? Uh, really, it's all, nobody because Gadotti's on loan. He goes back. Everybody else is here for another year, minimum. And I'm thinking 
Not sure. Well, you know what? I don't know if I want to keep Sayud or not. I may try to move him on. He's 22 in Belgium, from Belgium. Anachik is 24. If Case is going to be my number one, then maybe I get rid of Anachik because he's on he's on a high contract, boy. I mean, that's the highest contract on the club. I don't know. Don't know. I'm not positive Sayud could be. I mean, he could do the job as our deputy, I suppose. I just have to decide if Case is going to be our guy. He's going to do nothing but get better. I think he could. Viral, that was that keeper's name. Was that in this league? Akan Viral, yep, he's at Liverpool now. What's he look like? Four star current, five star potential still. He did not wow, he, he went there and did not get the get the starting job. He is a deputy. One reserve one one appearance off the bench. Now he played well. Didn't give up a goal. Seven point two rating in the Premier League. So that's that's interesting. Who is their other keeper? Just out of curiosity. I don't have ratings, but looks like it's this. Oh, Adam Grayson. Yeah, I have seen him. Because you remember, I started both of these saves, this one and my journeyman save, at the same point. This guy uh, just got signed for like $50 million by Arsenal, I think, in the other save. And he's really good. Um, I wanted to sign him, but I couldn't afford him. No way in hell. Uh, valued at thirty-three million. So yeah, he's. God, I don't. I don't think uh, Burrell's ever going to get in front of him. He's still only nineteen, but man, I think he screwed himself by by not playing every day. Interesting, interesting. All right, guys. Well, that's going to end the season. Uh, we'll come back next episode. We will do the uh, season wrap up and uh, also take a look at transfers and see what we're going to do. Uh, so we won't see the transfer budget until next episode as well. Hit the like button, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Thank you so very much. Uh, also, we do have a few people to welcome to the channel. We are up to 591 subscribers here on YouTube. And I know not all of those are active, but... Uh, you know, we, we've gone about 30 people in the last few months. So we're up to 591. And see if I can get a list here. Um, Tommy R., welcome to the channel. Gal Novak, welcome to the channel. I'm not sure all of these are legit viewers. Uh, I think some of them are uh, uh, like this one. 98 Lincoln Lover. Mr. Quackers. That might be a real one. Uh, Matthews Leal, all welcome to the channel. Ryan Zaz Zajna, I hope I got that even close to being right. And I think that's it. That's going back a couple of weeks. So I think we've got everybody that's new to the channel. Thank you so much for coming by. Hope you stick around, and I hope you watch every episode. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, still gunning to get to, you know, I mean, baby steps for me. I'm still looking to get to 10 views on a consistent basis on every episode. And, uh, you know, I it, it is kind of depressing, isn't it, when you look at the big channels? I mean, I've watched since since FM21 released, I've seen Lelujo gain 20,000 followers. 20,000. And I'm working to get 10 views on videos. <laughs> That's just mind boggling to me. But uh, anyway, I do appreciate you guys hanging out and checking it out. Uh, let me know what I can do better. Let me know what I uh, what I'm doing right. And we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.